In one of our previous skin showcases, we asked you what kind of videos would you like to see, and Amar Tripathi suggested inventories built around Tiger Tooth and Slaughter knife finishes. So we decided to release our inner Joe Exotic and create a list around the roaring knife finish that is the Tiger Tooth. No limits in terms of money, just the best skins for the orange skin. Let's start with the knife itself. And we chose the Butterfly Knife Tiger Tooth. We decided to go for the good old butterfly knife, if only because it's probably the most fun knife to have. The glorified fidget spinner might be expensive, but the sheer number of tricks the knife has makes it the best choice for a Joe Exotic finish. For the gloves, we chose the Sports Gloves Omega. The best gloves for the set are definitely the black and orange Omegas. One of the more low-key designs, it still looks really clean with both the knife and the skins we've selected. And now, on to the pistols. For the USPS, we've chosen the Orion. We start off with the Orion, an awesome futuristic orange and black combo. The Orion is one of our favorite USPS guns in a void, and in the context of her collection, its colorway fits perfectly with the Tiger II. If you're more of a P2000 person, you might have trouble finding one that's really fitting for your Tiger II inventory. Outside of a few notable exceptions, the P2000 set is notably not good, and the Scorpion is probably the best of the bad bunch. On to the Glock 18 Bullet Queen. The Bullet Queen is a classic design that absolutely fits into the orange, red, and yellow palette we're going for with this loadout. One of the best Glock skins, period, it will go well with the Tiger II and even the likes of Allure. For the dualies, we have the Demolition. A rather boring pick, but one that just works nonetheless. The dualies don't have a bunch of nice skins, which is not a surprise given how rarely they are used in competitive play. However, if you're playing arms race and going full Tiger Tooth, the Demolition will fit right into that vibe, no problem. Onto the P250 Splash. Who knew a simple splash of paint could look this good? This simple and cheap design is a perfect complement for the Tiger Tooth coloristically. We just wish there was a better option thematically. For the 5.7, we have the Nitro. Another pretty simple skin, the Nitro fits in any orange loadout, but is also a treat for any minimalist out there. Nothing fancy about this pattern, but it's a great choice for our knife. On to the CZ. If you prefer the CZ, well, we have the Tigris. I mean, we couldn't really go for anything else here. It's a skin named after a tiger. After all, that's what Tigris means in Latin. Making this pick an absolute no-brainer for a roaring collection. However, if you prefer the Tech 9, uh, we suggest the fuel injector. Give me fuel. Oh, wait a moment. I did that joke last time, didn't I? Um, the fuel injector isn't the perfect fit with the Tiger Tooth, but hey, if you wanted that, you could just switch to a CZ. However, if you want to go full Tech Nine Meister, the fuel injector is still a great choice that fits our color palette. Well, not to a T, but almost to a T. On to the Deagle Light Rail. One of the more interesting skins in the game, the Light Rail's gunsmith finish combines with a unique paint job to create an illusion of light shifting over the gun's barrel. While at first I wasn't really convinced by the skin, it has really grown on me over the last few months, and I think it's a good choice for our collection. If you're more of a revolver person, however, the Skull Crusher is our choice for the R8. It's one of the most fitting skins for our collection, actually, and it features striped like accents on the grip and a burned orange finish that just works with the Tiger tube so well, as you can see on screen. A good choice for any snacks and JWs out there. Onto the shotguns, we start off with the Nova Wild 6. It came down to a contest between this and the Antique. Both kind of fit the theme, however, we prefer the post-apocalyptic vibe of the Wild 6 to the tire hunting vibe of the Antique. It might not be perfect, but it'll do for this collection. As for the Mag 7, we went for the Bulldozer. All that we said applies to Bulldozer, previously featured in our Best Value Skins video. Watch it if you haven't, the link's up there. This one just keeps on trucking with its clean yellow design. And the sawed off is another repeat from that video in the origami. Yeah, the origami is one of the best bang for buck skins in the game, so it's no wonder that when looking for a sawed off fitting an orange knife, we chose this one. Beautiful, simple, fun. For the auto shoddy, we have the incinigator. We went for something a bit different here. While the color palette is thereabouts, the real kicker for the skin is the gate through teeth pattern. After all, if we're going to pay tribute to one of nature's greatest predators, why not do it for another one? This is a fun fit for your collection. For the M249, we went with the Spectre. Gah, the M249 doesn't have the best collection of skins, and unfortunately the Spectre is just about the only good looking one that fits our theme. Marble and yellow, it's our first true piece of filler in this episode, maybe discounting the Scorpion. But the Negev is a much better story with the Lionfish. Why did they call that fish the lionfish if it has tiger stripes? Who the hell knows? While the color might not be a perfect match, the pattern is. So get that overpowered laser pointer going and hold down that position. 
On to the SMGs. First off, the MAC-10 Stalker. Once again, not perfect when it comes to the color palette, but it's just so thematically awesome given its striped design combined with a wonderful cat graphic. This skin is absolutely perfect for people who aren't kidding around with their eco rounds. Yeah, I'm cringing too, don't worry. Now the MP9 Modest Threat. Looking as if it's pulled straight from the Nostromo, the Modest Threat is a colorway fit for us finally. Not too expensive either, this is straight bang for your buck for your eco rounds. Onto the MP5 SD Gauss. With not a lot to choose from in the Silence MP5 category, we had to go with the closest thing we could find, which is probably the nicest MP5 skin out there for Gunsmith fans. The Gauss. It doesn't set the, suit the set perfectly, but hey, it's something. Onto the MP7, the Nemesis. Not to be confused with one of the worst Star Trek movies, the Nemesis isn't a perfect fit, yet it looks so much cleaner than the orange peel, which would be our second choice. Featuring a predator of sorts, this one is interesting and fits the vibe rather well. For the PP Bison, we've gone for the Antique. We snuffed the Antique in the Nova category, but we couldn't do it when it came to the Bison. Straight out of the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, this looks like it's seen a hunt or two. Don't hunt tigers though. Tigers are cool. For the UMP45, we've chosen the Blaze. Unlike some people in the community, I do believe that the Blaze is a very meh, edgy 90s poser metalhead design on its own. However, in the set, I can just about see how it works. The orange flames complement the Tiger II design well, leaving the cover to Metallica's reload as our choice for the UMP. Next up, the P90 Chopper. This is a pure color decision. While the navy blue doesn't fit perfectly, the orange absolutely does. And while the flames are, well, flames, they can also look like stripes with the right angle, leaving you with a simple choice. On to the rifles. We've gone with the FAMAS Neural Net to start. Maybe a bit too sci-fi for the theme. The clean yellow design looks pretty good when combined with a tiger tooth, if you ask me. With the FAMAS being more powerful in recent times, investing some money into a decent skin may be helpful for you. For the Galil, we went with another old classic of ours, the Galil AR Chatterbox. Once again, we've talked about this before, but it shouldn't really be a surprise. It's still one of the best looking Galil skins, and it still absolutely fits the theme and is still an absolute banger. So let's get talking with bullets. For the Scout, we've gone with the Death's Head. The Death's Head Moth is iconic for being featured in the poster for Silence of the Lambs, in interesting form, and you know, for the skull on its back. In game, however, its design translates to stripes, not unlike those of the Tiger II. Good looking in a vacuum, it's perfect for this loadout. On to the AK-47 Fuel Injector. Just like the tech, this is an awesome skin, and I know people who absolutely swear by it. It's not quite great color-wise, but it's definitely the closest we're going to get to the Tiger II's orange when it comes to the Kalashnikov. Similarly, for the M4A1S, we went with the Golden Coil. I was dilly dallying between this and Chanticus Fire, and honestly, both skins can work. However, the Black and Gold Golden Coil is just slightly ahead of Chanticos, given A, the Tiger Tooth doesn't really have overt red accents, and B, there's a snake on it, so it continues the animal theme. Um, for the M4A4, we have the Buzzkill. We could have went with the Howl, but the Buzzkill is a slightly better fit when it comes to the color if a bit thematically lacking. With the M4A4 suffering from a lack of really, really clean skins, if you prefer aesthetics to functionality, you might be tempted to keep the Silence M4 equipped. For the AUG, we went with the Bengal Tiger. It's literally a tiger skin. Need I say more? Like, look, it's tiger. It's a tiger. It's a tiger. Okay, I'm gonna end this bit, but you know, do. As for the SG553, we went with the Colony 4. The Krieg was a harder choice, and eventually I settled for the Colony 4 over the Bulldozer. A bit more intricate, the Radic Rim Ant of War theme fits in the animal set in a flippant way and looks pretty good thanks to it, so let's take that. For the Op, uh, we went with the Boom. Recently featured in an awesome three clicks fill up video, the Boom came into the CSGO world as a part of the esports case. If only we could invest with hindsight, but since we can't, we're stuck with paying a bit of a premium on a good old Zoomer. It's still wonderful and fits our theme perfectly. I say perfect a lot in this video. Count the number of perfects and leave them in the comments. As for the auto snipers, for the Stakar 20, we've selected the Enforcer. It's the not the most fitting, but just about does if you're really, really gonna look for a good one. And it's just the best looking out of all the Scar rifles. Uh, if you really want a color fit, go for the Jungle Strips, Slipstream, or Brass, but both of them are pretty bad looking. And the Enforcer looks sweet and also works really well with the Marble Fade. For the T-Side Auto Noob, we went with the G3 SG1 Scavenger. Hey look, it's a scavenger again. We featured it in our last video, so we're not going to talk about it too much. But the rusty yellow stripes work just fine with the Tiger 2. If you're more into pure orange though, 
the Orange Crash will be your choice. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any new ideas for collections built around knives, for collection built, collections built around skins, like, I don't know, the Asimov, for collections built around themes, leave them in the comments below. Like and subscribe, as always. And remember, if you're looking to sell your skins for real money, really quickly, head to SkinWallet.com and cash them out to an e-wallet of your choosing nearly instantly. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe. And cheers.